Hi, welcome back to our show. We're here with Bill Abasian. He's with Generex, and he's brought two dynamic products over to show us. So, tell us about the one people can buy now. Right now, we are selling a product called Glucose Rapid Spray. For the first sign of low blood sugar, it's sprayed 10 times, and the person comes out of the low blood sugar event very slowly and easy. It's a buccal mucosa delivery system, so it's, instead of being digested, it's ingested into the mouth, so very quickly going into the bloodstream. It's sold throughout the country right now, in all retail stores, and internationally throughout the Middle East, Europe, and South Africa. Tell us about the paper that you have just got published. A paper was just published in the American Diabetic Conference showing a five gram glucose tablet and 10 sprays of glucose rapid spray. Which is less than two grams of sugar. Which is less than two grams. Because of our delivery system, we saw that the five gram tablet took 15 minutes to peak up 10% blood sugar raise versus 10 sprays of our product took two minutes to go up 10%. It showed the benefit to the first signs of low blood sugar and that paper was endorsed by the American Diabetic Association. So he's saying this is less sugar and it works faster when you're low. And we call it sweet and simple. Sweet and simple. Do you probably need to, it's possible it might start falling again because it's so little you need to keep shooting or eating. It's the first response to low blood sugar. It's a common sense approach because in the past, people took multiple tablets, their blood sugar got too high, and they threw themselves back into the deleterious position of being diabetic again. So in this case, less is better. Okay, I'm gonna try this, because I, I do get low occasionally. So tell us about your other product, Bill. This is our oral insulin product. The product is called Oralin. Uh, Generac just uh, started our phase three trials independently uh, in the U.S. So it's and not available the world. yet. No, it's not available yet, but we start our phase three trials. We're, we're picking our centers of excellence. We're also recruiting our patients. Our protocol has been approved through the governing bodies in uh, Europe, Canada, and the U.S. And, um, we're on our way to trying to get the approvals to get the product in the market in the U.S. and Canada and worldwide. So show us how it works. We have human insulin put into a canister under pressure which needs no refrigeration. We have a unitized dose which is one unit of insulin sprayed throughout each uh, puff. We shake the canister five times. It goes in through the buccal mucosa a vascular area of their mouth. As soon as it's sprayed, it is not a pulmonary insulin. It's a buccal mucosa delivery insulin. The particles are seven micron in size. Because of that, they do not go into the lung. It's sprayed in through the mouth, goes all the plumage in through the mouth, and it turns out that through five sprays at the beginning of the meal and after the meal, it is a mealtime postglandular insulin. So how quickly does it start taking effect? Within 15 minutes it peaks off, at the end it tails off so you have a very low chance of hypoglycemia. So it's actually much faster than the fastest insulins that you can inject? It's a, it's a quick insulin, it's a mealtime insulin. Uh, it's being sold right now actively in uh, Ecuador and it will be uh, sold probably within the next three months somewhere in the Middle East. So as opposed to that other one, the Exubera, where you have to breathe it all the way down into your lungs, this you're just trying to get into the cheeks. We believe that, again, less and non-invasive is better. Put it through the buccal mucosa, not having something go into your lungs, having the patient population be a lot larger with a product like this, the smokers can use it, children can use it, older people can use it. Uh, because of that, we believe that it brings a quality of life and compliance to the patient, which means they'll use the pot product, meaning that um, we'll all be successful um, in compliance and financially. So Bill, the big question is, uh, when can I get it? How much will it cost? At this point, it's not available in the U.S. and Canada. It is available in Ecuador. It's sold for $30 per unit in Ecuador. And, and how many units of insulin? Is that? Uh, it's 400 units of insulin with 10% bioavailability. So there's 40 units per canister. So a canister's lasting about two days. Okay. 
So it's quite a bit more than shots of insulin. It's about 20 to 30 percent more, but it's a it's a meal time insulin. So one canister is thirty dollars. Right. In the last two days. Right. That's more than twenty percent more. I mean, it's I'm not saying it's too expensive. It's just to give our viewers a comparison. Uh, the comparison that we're looking at right now in South America, we're seeing it as, as an expensive alternative to injections. Okay. But we're also seeing in South America and other marketplaces sharing of needles between families, uh, which is unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing um, non-compliance of drug because they just can't get it. Uh, so we're working together with health ministers in Kuwait, Qatar, Dubai, uh, Saudi, uh, the Brazilian government to make sure that this product can be affordable to all people. We're looking for registration in India probably within the next uh, 30 days. Congratulations. My pleasure. And, and here it's maybe a few years off. It's a few years off. Um, the FDA is very thorough and we just hope that they're open to a small company um, that wants to go it alone, that wants to make uh, good quality health care for the U.S. marketplace. That's great. Thanks for coming on the show and sharing that with us. Thank you.